The poisonous red apple is the ultimate symbol of the battle between Snow White and the Evil Queen. Well, while these apples won't put a spell on you, they certainly will surprise you. On Just Add Sugar, we're bringing you some of our favorite sugary recipes that are sure to tempt and delight any sweet tooth. The return of season three's Once Upon a Time marks a new chapter in this enchanting fairy tale drama on ABC. We're going to make some magical apple cupcakes that would make Regina proud. We're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees and then mixing our flour with our baking powder, baking soda, salt, cinnamon, ground nutmeg, and ground ginger. Mmm, this ginger smells so good. And then just mix it up. We're gonna cream together our butter, sugar, eggs, and vanilla extract. And do this on medium speed. Then we're gonna add our apple butter. And what I love about this recipe is we have those spicy notes from the cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg, and then this creamy apple butter. Now that our apple butter is mixed in, we're gonna slowly add in some flour mixture and then alternate adding in our milk and beat until smooth. Mmm, this smells like a sinfully delicious apple turnover. Now it's time to put these into our cupcake liners. And we're using red cupcake liners because these are gonna turn into red delicious apple cupcakes. When you're filling these cupcakes, you wanna fill them a little more than two thirds full because you actually want them to have that nice baked dome effect. Now we're gonna bake these for 18 to 20 minutes or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean. While our cupcakes are cooling, I'm gonna show you how to make an apple buttercream frosting. It's really simple. We're just gonna to cream together our butter and powdered sugar. Now we're gonna add our vanilla. And then we're gonna add our apple butter a tablespoon at a time until the frosting is the consistency that you want. There we go, this frosting looks just right. It has soft peaks, but it's still nice and creamy. Now this is the best part. I'm gonna show you how to put our little surprise inside of our apple cupcake. And first, we're gonna start by coring it. Now, I'm using a jumbo straw to do this. They sell cupcake cores, you can do that, or you can use a little spoon. This is a cool little trick. Insert it into the center of your cupcake, give it a little twist, and then it's gonna remove the little piece of cake in the center. Now, you could fill this cupcake with really anything, but we're gonna put Pop Rocks inside to give it that magical surprise. It's gonna have the fizz and pop. Make sure you fill it all the way up. And close it with that little piece of cake. Look at that, no one will ever know. Once your cupcake is filled with Pop Rocks, you're gonna frost it using an offset spatula. Just put a dollop of the frosting right on top and cover the entire cupcake. So make sure you even get the end where the liner hits the cake. You don't want anything to show. This apple butter frosting smells so good. Then when the frosting's still wet, you're gonna dip it into red sanding sugar, making sure that you coat all of the frosting. And then we gotta add those little finishing touches to make it truly look like one of Regina's apples. So for the stem, we're gonna use a little pretzel stick. And then for the leaves, I actually found a little leaf cookie cutter, but you could just freehand cut this. And for the green, we're using an airhead. So all you do is just use the little cutter and cut out the shape of the leaves. How simple is that? So everything on this cupcake, besides the liner, is edible. And then just place them right on top. That is so cute. I'm gonna finish up the rest of these. Oh my goodness, these apples look so delicious. I can't wait to try one. Oh my gosh, and all the Pop Rocks are inside. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, can you hear the Pop Rocks? This would be such a great idea for Once Upon a Time party. Don't forget, you can watch Once Upon a Time on Sunday nights on ABC at 8, 7 central. I'm Brandy, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Pop Sugar.